Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian preview and uh, North American wrap from Privateer FX. Let's get right to the charts in the, in the currency space. Uh, you can see the euro dollar continued its march higher on the renewed, uh, more hawkish sounding rhetoric, rhetoric ahead of the ECB meeting uh, next week. We got up to a high of 118.38. We had, we had some targets around just shy of this 118.50. You can see it pull back down and close the, around the figure. Um, you know, this has had a very swift move higher. Um, we're, we've taken profit on our longs for the meantime. Um, I think it could mean revert a bit because we got FOMC in the uh, ECB meeting coming up next week. So, you know, it was a good, it was a good little run. Um, don't really want to overstay my welcome. Don't have a real strong opinion, you know, with it hanging around here at 118. Um, Australian dollar pulled back a bit, um, you know, just kind of an inside inside range day. Uh, the one other one that we sold yesterday um, worked out okay. Here, Here's the, uh, this is significant resistance up here at 84.50. We just pierced it in Asia yesterday. Um, and then you can see we uh, we got very close to an outside reversal. Barrett, you know, we got a bearish engulfing. Uh, let's see, the low was 57-ish, and today's close was 61. So it was very close, um, you know, back down to the 100-day close, right on the 100-day moving average. It's under, <coughs> you know, slightly lower here on your open. Um, you know, we're looking at, uh, this is the daily, be looking at a maybe a deeper retrace. We've got the G7 meeting coming up this weekend. You know, there's always risk of uh, some hostile discussions. Um, I could see this thing dipping. You know, we could take out the this daily low here at 83.35. Yesterday's low was 83.38. And uh, maybe a pullback down at 83.20 tomorrow. Um, so we'll be watching that. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stick a bit in um, just above 83.20 to cover some shorts. Um, what else? Euro yen had a reversal lower day. You can see all these yen crosses: sterling yen, kiwi yen. Um, failed up here at the 100 day so th there was a, a, a little bit of a risk off here's dollar yen did close off its lows we got double bottom here now let's widen this out at uh, 109.50 looks like a pretty important area <clears throat> and uh, let's take a look at the equity market um the NASDAQ underperformed today. You can see here, here's the NASDAQ cash was down 0.8%, whereas the S&P was, you know, basically unchanged. Um, the FANG stocks had, had some issues. Um, Ten-year yields in the U.S. back up above 290, 293, and oil had a bit of a rally. Um, thankfully, we covered those oil shorts. I think that's probably done enough. We had a DeMarc uh, signal that uh, at, for, from this down move, we had a signal where this thing would probably go sideways to slightly higher. So we cut that, cut out of that yesterday. Aside from that, you know, n nothing much on the data front. We do have the um, we do have the G7 meeting. There will be some comments, um, you know, on trade and probably currency practices and things like that, kind of the standard stuff. And I'm sure we'll get some leaks from sources tomorrow, and then uh, you'll see a statement will probably be released after hours, after the uh, the close. So not expecting a whole lot uh, in Asia, and you'll hear from us on the European Open. All right, good luck trading. All the best. And uh, have a great weekend. You'll hear from me on, uh, on your Open on Monday. Cheers.